Today we're going to be testing out more viral carnivore recipes. My twin sister Sarah and I have been on a keto lifestyle since January of 2019 and we've lost a combined total of 160 pounds. And we are what we call technically keto, which is a pretty relaxed form of keto that we have made up where we eat mostly clean whole foods and then add in some indulgences throughout the week. But a trend is sweeping the internet called carnivore where you don't eat anything green or anything but meat really. And you would think that that would be really just cut and dry, right? Because it's just meat. But there are people taking some creative liberties with these recipes and so that's what we're gonna be trying on our channel today. So in the last video, we made bread out of chicken. Chicken bread. And the bread turned out really well. We were surprised. I actually said, I'm surprised in a good way. This is surprising in a good way. So we figured why not continue on this journey today to try to find some more carnivore recipes that look interesting to try. And boy, have you guys tagged us in some that look very interesting. And I would have never found out about this recipe if Wynn did not tag us in it. So thank you Wynn for tagging us, or I'm gonna blame you for tagging us in this recipe that we're trying today. And it is called carnivore gnocchi. When you think about gnocchi, what do you think about? I think about little clouds of dough dropped in water and boiled or fried, crispy, doughy. These are none of those things. So the recipe is called carnivore gnocchi with a brown butter cream sauce. And the creator of this recipe that shared it is called at it's Courtney Luna. And the last carnivore hacks video was the same creator. I actually called her at country Luna. At it's country Luna. That's not her name. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. I was so distracted by the meat bread that I just called her it's at country Luna. And so just like the bread, the main component of this dish is meat and it's also ground chicken. But before we get started, we're gonna take a minute to talk about the sponsor of this video, Element. Element is a delicious electrolyte drink mix with everything that you need and nothing that you don't. That means lots of salt and no sugar. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of one thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Sarah and I drink Element every single day and we have been for years because we love the way it tastes and it helps us on our ketogenic lifestyle. That's because when you go into ketosis, you shed a lot of water and inside that water are your electrolytes. This can leave you feeling tired, have muscle cramps, and also fatigued, also known as the keto flu. Element replenishes your electrolytes so that you feel better. Our favorite flavors are the citrus salt, raspberry salt, and orange salt, but we absolutely love them all. We only talk about products that we absolutely love on our channel and Element is definitely one of them. In fact, it was like one of the first products that we ever bought and we told to our audience because we loved it so much. So we're so happy that they sponsor videos on our channel. Right now, Element's offering our community a free sample pack. It looks like this so that you can try all the flavors. That's eight single serving packets free with any order from Element. This way you can try all the flavors or share some with a salty friend. In order to get this deal, you must go to drinklmnt.com slash keto twins. So the first step for our carnivore gnocchi is going to be using a food processor. So we're gonna set that up first. In the food processor, we're gonna to start to add in our ingredients, which are a pound of ground chicken, two eggs, and some salt. We're gonna put about a teaspoon of salt in there. And we're gonna mix that all together in the food processor. The beauty of carnivore is that everything has the same ingredients. Chicken, eggs, salt. Next up is to fill a piping bag. You guys know how good we are at that. So we're gonna fill up the Ziploc bag uh, with our chicken egg mixture. And then we're going to get a pot of water boiling and we're going to start piping little balls into the hot water to create our meat gnocchi. Okay. I've always wanted to act like I knew what I was doing but I never expected it would be for meat. I always thought it would be for frosting. We're gonna cut the tip off and then we're going to be using a butter knife to kind of cut the gnocchis into the boiling water. <laughs> Whatever, I'm five years old, I realize. I'm gonna continue on until I finish the bag. We're gonna cook these for only a couple minutes. Speak. <laughs> um, so our gnocchi are floating and I'm going to fish them out and put them into a bowl while we get on with the rest of this recipe. Oops. 
little balls of meat to delight. Moving on to the sauce portion of this dish, we are going to be melting half a stick of butter and we're gonna be browning that butter until it's brown. In our last video that also had brown butter in it, that seems to be a popular flavor profile in the carnivore world, we didn't brown it enough for some of you, so we are going to brown it more this time. So let's start creating our brown butter cream sauce. So in Courtney Luna's video, she got hers pretty brown. So we're about halfway there. A couple more minutes and then we're gonna add in half a cup of heavy cream, mix that in, and then one cup of parm. And you guys know how much I love parm. Hopefully it's not stinky. I did not buy the stinky parm. Mm. So next up we're going to be putting in a couple tablespoons of butter into a pan so we can brown up our carnivore gnocchi. So we're gonna brown the gnocchi in some melted butter. Look at that, perfectly uniform. So they're nice and brown. They're actually looking pretty good, I'm surprised. They've got some nice color on them, they smell good. So we are going to cool these down. We're going to toss them in the sauce. We're gonna try this at the end actually because we have another recipe that we're really excited to try. It's a carnivore flatbread. Next up we're gonna be testing another carnivore recipe. It's by Low Carb Yum and it's called Nearly No Carb Keto Bread. So the last carnivore bread recipe that we tried I actually surprisingly really liked and it was kind of like a consistency of a chicken nugget. So I'm super excited to see if this flatbread turns out well. So you're gonna be needing mozzarella, cream cheese, eggs, pork rinds, baking powder, and Parmesan cheese. It says optionally you can add herbs to taste. I don't think we're gonna be doing that because that's not carnivore. So you're gonna to need to preheat your oven to 375 degrees and you're gonna line a baking sheet with some parchment paper. Kind of like a fathead dough, you're gonna take the cream cheese and a mozzarella and you're gonna put it in a bowl into the microwave and you're gonna melt that through. It says to microwave for one minute, stir, and then microwave it for a minute again, so that's what we're gonna do now. Looks like marshmallows. Mm. Okay, so our cheese is nice and melted. We made sure to combine it. It looks kind of like marshmallows, but it's not. So next up, we're going to be adding in our eggs, our Parmesan, pork rinds, and baking powder. Make sure to wait a little bit before you add in the eggs. We don't want them to scramble and become weird. This is already kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. We don't want scrambled eggs in there. This is a rare lift for Sarah. She looks honestly perplexed. I just hope the egg is actually gonna incorporate with the cheese. We're getting some resistance at this point, so I'm just gonna keep stirring. Hopefully it becomes a homogenous mixture. Is that the right word? I don't know. I like squishing it. I feel like that does something. Emily is going to insert some nice elevator music instead of having the nice squishy noise that we have now. Sarah's just gonna continue on. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna wait until we have a nice and combined mixture. Then we'll move on to the next step. It's been a journey to get here. Here we are. It did take a while to incorporate it fully, but I think we got there eventually. We're now going to take this mixture and place it onto a parchment lined baking sheet. We're gonna make it nice and even, hopefully and spread it out. We're gonna bake this for 15 to 20 minutes at 375 degrees. After we bake it, we have to let it cool for a little. And then we're going to be crafting a carnivore sandwich out of it. And then we're gonna go downstairs and try all of these delights. Condiments are carnivore. Don't fool me. If you know Emily, she needs a condiment on her sandwich. Well, it's just gonna be dry. Salt. <laughs> mustard. Fine, mustard. Butter. Let's do mustard. Okay, we'll put a little mustard on there. Nice drizzle. <laughs> Artfully done. Thank you. Three pieces. And then, whoop. That is the way a sandwich, I don't, I've never worked at a sandwich shop, but I'm assuming that's how you make a sandwich, no? I don't really like the smell of Parmesan. I, you guys probably know that if you watch this channel. And this is just very fragrant this right now. This is the least Parmesan-y smelling one that I could find mm -hmm. on Amazon. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, and before we get into it, um, a lot of you guys ask about this. This is our hydroponic growing system called the Let Us Grow Farm Stand. We have it linked in the description if you want to check it out. But we are kind of like in the midst of a reset of this device because it gets filled with roots and you have to clean it. And we thought we wanted to grow some of our own veggies in it. And so we have to grow seedlings and that takes forever. And mm -hmm. so it's empty for now, but we can show you what it looks like fully in bloom and it's beautiful, robust non-carnivore thing because we couldn't even use any of that in these recipes <clears throat> i was about to say a little parsley never hurt no one it would do a lot for this i but know we can't oh. <laughs> do we always touch like this <laughs> are we always touching no mm. so we made the gnocchi first we're gonna eat that first you know i'm trying to be have an open mind you know what i mean so okay cheers beep Not bad. They taste to me like chicken meatballs. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily call them gnocchi, but they're not bad. I think that you could use this with a variety of different sauces, although it wouldn't necessarily be carnivore if you made a tomato-based sauce. Mm -hmm. I think they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm pleasantly surprised. The texture is soft. I think browning it actually helped a lot to give that nice crispy crust to the gnocchi. I am pleasantly surprised. I like it. I would eat it again. The sauce is pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's a very rich sauce, and the Parmesan is very, like, pungent mm -hmm. to me. When you look at the comments on these videos, they're pretty rough. I've said that before in the last video. The comment that this creator, uh, Courtney Luna, responded to was like, I wouldn't even feed this to my dog, <laughs> you know? And honestly, I wouldn't feed this to my dog because I would eat it myself. Right. I like it. Good job. Let's get on to the next one. This bread looks pretty good, actually. Yeah. I'm surprised. It does look very, very good. Smells legit. Smells like a legit roast beef sandwich. I'm very happy so far with it. I don't know why I decided to go with roast beef. Um, we haven't had that Smell in a it. long time. Smells like a legit roast beef sandwich. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's great. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Try the bread on its own. Maybe the flatbread on its own. It doesn't really taste like pork rinds to me. It's very light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily taste like a fathead dough, even though it is kind of like a fathead dough. Well, this has a lot more cream cheese per quantity of right. mozzarella than a regular fathead dough. The other thing is this has baking powder in it. Right. A lot of baking powder. One tablespoon. So it is pretty, it's pretty light and airy on the inside. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm pleasantly surprised as well. If you had to pick between this bread and the other chicken bread, which one do you pick? Hmm. I think I'd pick this one. Mm -hmm. This is going to be my favorite um, carnivore bread that we've tried so far. The chicken bread was good, but it had that overall chicken flavor. taste yeah. and flavor because it was. This one's more neutral. I can right. see this going sweet or savory. The creator also mentioned in their recipe that you could make this into like a pizza dough. I wonder how that would be. But overall, yeah, I really like it. Every time I make a fathead dough like recipe, I'm always shocked at how bread-like it is. Like you see the pockets, it looks like light and airy. It's just surprising that someone came up with this concept. I'm really glad because mm -hmm. we would have never came up with this. What? <laughs> I just saw a, no, a dog nose come up right here. And it, it's uh, Charlie. He's like... This is Charlie. We haven't featured you in a video. Somebody was like, do you still have your dogs? <laughs> yes, of course we do. Honestly, we didn't have high hopes for a lot of these recipes, and some of them are very, very impressive. And if you're trying to cut back on carbs even more, why not add some carnivore dishes to your routine? It could really help. And if you want to see the video where Sarah and I tried other carnivore recipes, you can click right here and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we, we are, are the Keto Twins, signing out. Pretty good. Mm-hmm.